Welcome to a short screencast showing you a couple features of Chem 101 that you'll need to be able to use on the upcoming second exam. They're pretty intuitive, but I just wanted to show you them explicitly uh, and give you a chance to practice. Okay, so first of all, here's a question, balance the following chemical equation. Uh, and notice there's underneath it, there's sort of a modified keyboard that lets you input values, but you have a limited choice of values. So I'm going to look at this and say, well, let me see, three carbons on the left. So in front of the CO2, I'm going to need to put a three for the stoichiometric coefficient to balance the carbons. And then I've got four hydrogens. This is H2O. So in front of the H2O, I'm going to have to type in the uh, value four and notice I'm just checking or uh, picking numbers from here moving the cursor to where I want and then inputting and then two times three is six oxygens and four times one is four more oxygen so that's ten oxygens so I need to input a five here and that's all you need to do so you simply need to in this case input values for the coefficients and then that's all you do to balance the equation. Welcome to a short screencast showing you a couple features of Chem 101 that you'll need to be able to use on the upcoming second exam. They're pretty intuitive but I just wanted to show you them explicitly uh, and give you a chance to practice. Okay so first of all here's a question balance the following chemical equation. Uh, and notice there's underneath it, there's sort of a modified keyboard that lets you input values, but you have a limited choice of values. So I'm going to look at this and say, well, let me see, three carbons on the left. So in front of the CO2, I'm going to need to put a three for the stoichiometric coefficient to balance the carbons. And then I've got four hydrogens. This is H2O, so in front of the H2O, I'm going to have to type in the uh, value 4. And notice I'm just checking or uh, picking numbers from here, moving the cursor to where I want, and then inputting. And then 2 times 3 is 6 oxygens, and 4 times 1 is 4 more oxygen, so that's 10 oxygens. So I need to input a 5 here. and that's all you need to do. So you simply need to, in this case, input values for the coefficients. And then that's all you do to balance the equation. Okay, and here is the third and last example I'll show you. And this one is uh, stoichiometry calculation using conversion factors. And it's the same basic idea. It's fairly intuitive. You can um, enter or drag um, or click values to put them in the places that you want. Uh, and then it's important to note you can draw from these values below. And you can also draw from the values in the problem. So we have a top with a mass of 32 grams of copper. How many atoms of copper are in the spinning top? And it gives you the average atomic mass of copper. So you're going to set up with our starting amount is we have 32 grams of copper and I can just drag them in or I can um, and then I'm sorry move on to the conversion factor and I'm going to need to convert from grams of copper so I put in my units and it actually showed it canceled and let me see, there are 63.55 grams of copper per, I want to want to convert to moles, so one mole of copper. And notice it's showing your setup here below as well. And then um, I don't want moles of copper, I want atoms of copper, so I'm going to need another factor. So I'll click on add factor. And if I didn't like that, I could delete it but I do want that, so add a factor. And now I want to convert from moles of copper, and one mole of copper is equal to, I want to convert into atoms, so atoms of copper, and there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, Avogadro's number, and again, it shows your setup here. And then 
yeah, I think I'm done. I mean, I got to calculate the answer, but there's my um, right units. So now I'm going to select answer. And if I made a mistake, I could delete the answer if I thought I needed another conversion factor. So equals answer. And then I have to calculate it. And one of these choices should be right. So when I do the calculation, I get 3.03 times 10 to the 23rd. That's this guy. And then atoms of copper. And that's all I do. So done with that problem. Okay, so anyhow, hopefully that will help you with uh, the uh, any Chem 101 questions on the exam that involve uh, using this sort of uh, interface here. Um, you can either um, add numbers, add um, symbols, you can drag whole conversion factors and units and all those sorts of things, and that's how you do it. Uh, also note if there's any issues with that do please make sure you contact me for help but hopefully this will uh, be enough to make sure you know how to do this.